Hi, everyone, and welcome to our Thursday at 3. I'm Pastor Rachel DeLone, and I'm so excited to share with you some celebrations in our church. But first, I want to introduce you to two very special guests, my daughter, Emmeline Grace. You say hi. Hi. <laughs> and Laura Work. Hi, Laura. Hello. <laughs> Laura is incredible. She's our director of our Studio 150 ministry. And before I let her tell you about that ministry, I just want to read you the scripture from Psalm 150. That's where Studio 150 gets its name. This is our scripture. It's the last Psalm in the book of Psalms. And it says this, praise him with tambourine and dance, praise him with strings and pipe, praise him with clanging cymbals, Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So that's our scripture. And Laura, I want to turn it over to you. Tell us about this ministry, how long it's been a part of our church, and um, what you've enjoyed most about it. Well, from what I understand, I was trying to do a little history. I believe Studio 150 started 15 years ago last year. So last year was to be our 15th year um, celebration, but 2020 had some other plans for us. So um, yeah, so I I've been in charge for three years and it has been exciting. I love working with the kids and it is a great ministry um, of the First United Methodist Church, Winter Park. Oh. And we've recently expanded. So we had, we first yeah. started our Studio 150 on our Winter Park campus. Tell us about where we've expanded to. We've expanded to the Reef Center. So we started that last year actually, but again, 2020 kind of had other plans. So we, we only did a half a year and then we uh, started up again in October of this year and we doubled in our preschool over in that area. So that's, it's been wonderful. Yes, we did. And one of our preschool dancers is Emmeline Grace. She goes to TCA. You want to show off your costume? This is her flower costume. And <laughs> you can go ahead and sit back down. We love it. She was in two different dances on Saturday. And I'll let uh, Laura tell us about our recital. But first, Emmeline, what was your favorite part about the recital? Um, um, because I dance a lot and I love it. Yeah, she does love it. And what were the two dances you did? You want to tell us? Surfboard dance and flower dance. That's right. She did a surfboard dance and they stood and they uh, danced to, uh, what was the song, Laura? Um, uh, well, Wipeout. We called it Surf's Up, but it was Surf's the Wipeout up. song. <laughs> right, Surf's Up, Wipeout. It was adorable. And then her flower dance um, was just adorable too. So we had a recital on Saturday with all three of our main programs. And Laura, want to tell us about that? Sure. Um, it was a little untraditional this year. Um, because of the pandemic, we wanted to keep the audience sizes smaller. So we we split our normal show into three smaller shows. And we called it Dancing Through Life because we figured um, what we've been through, what the kids have been through this past year, we kind of wanted to dance that. So we had numbers called six feet apart where they were attached together with elastic, but they were six feet apart. We um, had them do a school dance and they danced to under pressure. Um, we had SOS and then fun things like Saturday in the park, go fly a kite, um, sing a song, um, flowers, things to celebrate. And then we ended with our dance called Hope, and which it was is what we are. <laughs> it was beautiful. I want to share some pictures of our, our recital. And so let me share my screen really quick. You can see some of the pictures. And we had this in the Matthias Family Life Center on Saturday. So let me go back. Let me go. This is our, that was our final song, Hope, right? And tell us about these girls. These are our company dancers and um, they, we, we actually have a boy in, in there too. He just happened to not be in this class, but we have company dancers and they, they perform at worship. Uh, they've also done competition numbers. And um, we actually had two of our girls were title holders representing the state of Florida uh, for 2019. So um, we have a lot to celebrate in our little they ministry. Were beautiful. They were beautiful. And this is our little threes class from TCA. Yes. 
they did two little numbers. Um, all the preschoolers do a dance called Ladybug and it is, it is by far their favorite. They get little ladybug wings and little ladybug wands. And so um, that was one of their, their favorite numbers that they wanted to do. And they also did um, uh, sing a song where they actually sang and danced to us. <laughs> so cute. And here's Emmeline's class. This is the flower dance. This is the four and five-year-old class from TCA. Yes. They yeah, did. They, <laughs> they did two little numbers, once where they were flowers and another one where they did a little surfboard like they were at the beach. And again, our threes class. Mm -hmm. There they are. Most everybody is in posi first position. This is what <laughs> yes. the the class, right? And we yes. did show and tell that time. Yeah. That's right. We did. <laughs> That was a little fun thing we we tried this year. We did show and tell, and so we would have them do their positions, and they would tell us what they what they were. Like plie means what? Do you remember? Bend your knees. To bend your knees. Awesome. That was really special because it allowed the parents and the grandparents that were there to see all that they had learned during the school year, and that was really fun. Again, here are our older company girls. This is the Hope song as well. And this is their first song that they did, which was beautiful. Yeah, how great thou art. Typically every year we do a, a hymn, a traditional hymn that we, we dance to and usually we'll perform it in church and worship. So this would be one of our worship numbers. Both of those actually would be worship numbers. And this, we, this dance is crazy in my head. This dance is crazy in your head. One day you'll get to do that dance too. And one day hopefully we'll get to have our dancers back in worship. Uh, with us. So I know that it's been a challenging year in the pandemic. What would you say have been the highlights and the struggles as you've been the director of this incredible ministry across two campuses with, I would say, a hundred, if not more dancers that are a part of it? What would you say are yeah. the, the highlights and, and the struggles that you've seen? The, the struggles were going away to spring break of last year. We went on spring break and we never returned until October. So um, truly it was coming up with a business plan, a, a brand new business plan um, within less than two weeks to get those kids dancing again. And so we, all of our teachers moved the furniture in their living rooms and we learned how to, we never heard of Zoom before and we just had them all dancing on Zoom. Um, one of the things, it was kind of funny, one of the kids kind of, uh, we interviewed them and had little snippets in the recital of what it was like living through a pandemic. And um, some of the kids admitted, well, you know, we never really like pointed our toes all the way, or we never really did our releve fully, you know, but you couldn't see our feet. And, and we were laughing, like we knew that. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it was just a joy to see them. We had scavenger hunts uh, via Zoom and little parties and just, time to sit and talk because they were so isolated and it was just nice to be able to not just dance all the time but just talk about the struggles that they were going through what it was like to work um online with school and all of that kind of stuff it was really it was a therapy session for for them but for us teachers as well so that was probably one of our biggest struggles and let me tell you the the best thing of the year is when october they all came back to class and they had masks on their face. We couldn't see their smiles, but we knew they were there and they knew our smiles were there. And that was just so heartwarming to have them back in the classroom again. Well, we're thankful for your leadership, Laura, for the leadership of your teachers and really everybody, our board, we have a Studio 150 board and all everybody in this church that has supported this ministry for the last 15 years. We just wanted to take a minute and celebrate with you all that God is doing. Um, we believe that God is a God of joy and a God of dance and a God of celebration. And so we're thankful that we were able to be a part of that recital on Saturday and see how God has given us bodies that are temples that we can use in the service of worship. And so uh, thank you for your leadership. Emmeline, what would you say is your most favorite part about dance? What do you love most about dance? Because, because the dance is so beautiful. 
the dance is so beautiful. Yes. And uh, we're thankful to be a part of something like this. So thank you guys for tuning in to hear uh, a little bit more about just the incredible ministries of this church. And again, thank you, Laura, for your leadership and your team. Um, what an incredible church that uh, supports a ministry like this. And uh, thanks and congratulations to all the dancers that worked really hard to put on this recital on Saturday. If you want to learn more, you can always um, email Laura Work uh, or myself, Pastor Rachel, to learn how you can get involved with Studio 150. Yeah. We're having summer classes, and we would love to, um, to get you plugged in to those uh, or later in the fall. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks, Laura, so much. Good to have you. Thank you. Bye, guys. See you next week. Bye.